The world's toughest cowboys say they'd rather try to saddle a tornado than take a ride on Bodacious, the world's most dangerous bull. He doesn't just throw riders, he demolishes them. In the body-pounding world of rodeo, there are bulls that will buck you. Is that bulls that will drop you. And bulls that will hurl you. Boy, it looks like they were doing a dance. But there's only one bull bent on destroying you. Bodacious, bodacious, bodacious. The baddest bull that, uh, you know, there's ever been. The incredible yellow bull, the unrideable from Sammy Andrews. He'll start your shorts and leave us name for a month. Oh, this bull is bad. He's a Charlotte's Brahmin crossbreed named Bodacious. 1,800 pounds of solid muscle. In 135 matchups with the world's top bull riders, only eight have gone the distance with him, earning him the title, world's most dangerous rodeo bull. Today, he's an icon, like Moby Dick, Jaws, or King Kong. He's the only bull in the world famous enough to warrant his own home video and line of signature merchandise. Every great warrior has a secret weapon. For Bodacious, it's this one. A deadly, head-snapping move that has left a trail of destruction in its wake. He's the only bull that does it. Terry Don West is one of the cowboys that Bodacious has smashed to smithereens. This ride cost Terry six broken ribs, a broken collarbone, and a punctured lung. There it is, the potentially fatal rib cage smash. I couldn't breathe, and that's probably the first time I thought I was going to die. I said I'll never ever get on that bull ever again. I've said many times that bulls don't kill somebody. A few have gone the distance with Bodacious. In bull riding, a cowboy has to stay on top of the bull for eight seconds for the ride to count. Tough Hedeman, considered by many to be the world's greatest bull rider, says Bodacious gave him the ride of his career. <laughs> In order to ride him, I had to, you know, do everything just perfect. There was zero room for any any kind of mistake, because, uh, you know, if you did, you know, he was going to make you pay for it. Tough and Bodacious were matched again in 1995 at the World Championship held in Las Vegas' MGM Grand. This time, the outcome would be very different. He left the shoot. The first jump was fine. I was in good shape, and when he started up for the second jump, I was up right over him. And you know, I just he just came back and just just hit me in the, in the face, and you know, just crushed everything from here to here. And onlookers, including fellow competitors hardened to the violence of the sport, were shocked at what they saw. Luckily, the second jump it didn't hit him again, or it probably killed him because his face was already uh, just like a cracked egg then. And if he had hit again. I'm sure that he would have, his brain would have went all over his head. walking out of here. One eye was over here and one eye looked like it was down here and he pulls his contacts out and says, tell my wife I'm okay and jumps in the back of the ambulance. I thought I was looking at the toughest man I ever saw in my life. Plastic surgeons worked all night to recreate Tough's face. When I got home, you know, my son at the time was three years old and uh, didn't didn't hardly recognize me when I got home because of all of the swelling and you know like I said I, I look quite a bit different. He uh, he looked at me and he said, you know if you ever drop audacious again you're gonna have to chicken out. I said you got a kill and you know lo and behold I joined at the national finals and I just said no thank you and uh, I I just didn't get on it. What you have just seen happen is one of the smartest things I've ever seen a human being do. I want you to tell Tough Hedeman you approve. We need him alive. We need him alive and well. Three go-rounds later, Scott Redding drew him, and he did the same thing to him as he did to me. Uh, he had a face guard, which still knocked him out, broke bones all around his eye socket, stitches in his face. This would be the last time any cowboy would ever climb on the back of the world's most dangerous rodeo bull. Owner Sammy Andrews made a very difficult decision, retire Bodacious at the peak 
of his career. We allowed that you didn't want to be crippling anybody else or killing them off, and so we allowed that we might ought to retire him rather than keep a mangling of people's faces. Even today, four years after his last ride, no bull has created a path of destruction that would challenge Bodacious's Dennis Tyler as the world's most dangerous rodeo bull. Sammy is currently breeding Bodacious and selling straws with his semen to ranchers across the country. He may one day build a son of Bodacious, Super Bull. But if the cowboys are worried, they're not letting on. Have you ever seen another Secretariat since Secretariat won that race so well? There's a lot of good blood from Secretariat, but nothing was ever as great as he was. There's only one uh, Babe Ruth. There's, there's only one Jack Nicklaus. And only one Bodacious. Oh,